Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how can you set a recurring pricing for your product or subscription. Let's start. If you, oh, okay, before uh, moving further, if you read the documentation, the same documentation, the create price, there is one thing called recurring. So you, we have to set up the parameter now. So if you uh, read the, uh, this is the recurring object uh, keys value. There is a one recurring object. It is first is interval. Interval is basically how you want to take a payment monthly, weekly, or there is a multiple option is there. Uh, like day, week, month, or year. So you can take a payment. Integer count. Integer count by default is one. You can set it to two. If you have set up it to two and interval is month, month, then it means every two months you need a payment. So this is how. One is usage type. So usage type is uh, you can read it here. It is a two type. One is license. One is one is metered. So so it basically is used when you need to have a like a you want to when someone cancel it you want to break that to into. You can read it from here. This is the aggregate. You got understanding. Though you, our for our for us. So sorry. This is aggregate. This is the user's type. Sorry. Configure how the the quantity per period should be determined. So the for us right now two important thing is interval and interval count. So we will use it. Just copy it here. Uh, okay. This is the fake one. We will just copy. Uh, there is no option for the copy. Okay. We will just uh, copy the curl call. And add another call. That's it. This is for add pricing. Price recurring. Custom report hang. Add price current. So, uh, in the same fashion, we will get added one adder. We will remove everything here. Now, we will go top and copy paste everything from here. Content type, its value, that's it. And now we will add a product. So we will have to copy the same thing, but just add a two or more parameter. Okay, uh, that is a currency. Currency code basically in what currency you want to take a payment. Next is unit amount, that is the amount you want to take. We just put a 29, make it as USD, make it as a product ID. We need to copy it from the top. Same product we are assigning. Uh, in the last video you learned, you can assign a multiple payment to the one product. For a texting purpose, we are adding that too. Make a query string, add a parameter for this, recurring and make it as a uh, array type so just go there and copy the interval make it as an interval now just copy completely and paste it there the next one is interval count now in this video the place the interval count uh, so just for the example we am just passing three and make it as a month so I just want every quarter payment, quarterly payment. So I will make it as a remove the private, make it as a very free. Hope everything is perfect. I just enable check this to initialize the call. That's it. That's how your pricing object is created and everything. So now we will create first one product uh, on that. And now then, uh, then I will show you how exactly you can attach the uh, how you can call the recurring uh, pricing 
बस मेक इट एज रिकरिंग रेड्यूस अप डेटा प्रोडक्ट without any uh, so if you go into the stripe uh, and verify your product is created or not uh product is not created i think yeah no product is created i think there is some issue there just as you see Now, if you just refresh the page, yeah, your product is added now. I think there was some error. There is no pricing error. Then we will go to the add pricing. Just copy paste everything from here. Make it as a group. and copy paste and drag it as we in th that a uh, left one was uh, for one time and right one is for the recurring thing just drag it so we can uh, just write down the type first is it month we can also make a uh, drop down also i think drop down is much better but we will for the simplicity sake we are just using a uh, and you can use some uh, drop down also next one is the how recurring you want so if you just make it uh, here the product id this is the amount this is the uh, you can say recurring type recurring type Uh, i think when you type there is some and this is the uh let's change it to recurring recurring integer uh not integer what that so that okay that is interval sorry recurring interval and next one is uh interval count sorry cm count I think the my system is lagging. Uh, why? I think we need to refresh all this. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I think I need to restart my system. <laughs> uh, yep, done. I will do it after. This is the one time. This may change it to add recurring payment. Recurring payment. So it will automatically change. Now we go to the workflow and integrate the API. Now first we need, yeah, first we need to the go to the plugin and make that uh, data call to the action call. It will do it quickly. Why is too slow? Uh, now we go to the plugin. Now, oh yeah, uh, we just need to make action. Go to the now here. You will make an element is clicked. That element is a add recurring payment. Now we will create a recurring add price recurring. Your product price, uh, your product ID. We will pass it. So make it as a input. Uh, typing is not working. When I type, uh, my system got hangs. What is that? Product ID value trim that I uh, currency USD that we have that is a unit account uh, that is also a uh, input. Input amount value and that is trim. now the recurring that yeah, it is uh, tax uh, i leave so we can get 
recurring yes input recurring value that is in interval count that is interval count okay there is two product id is there i need to mention which one is there and so first one we need interval count value yeah yeah okay i'll let me just fix one more thing recurring because there is a two product id we are not able to figure out which one is what but if i just making a one and same with the amount recurring rec uh now we will go workflow rec uh, it is rec r ah, we use a wrong one input amount id yeah now everything is done we need to just go to preview and call it so product id we need to copy it we will go from here to the product id we need to attach the pricing just attach the pricing amount 29 that yeah, 290 recurring is same month and travel count is 2 and just add the pricing that's it you need to just call this and if you just refresh this page the pricing will be uh attach hopefully <laughs> and i think we go yes pricing is done for 290 dollar for everyone so if you want to see the detail just click on that pricing object and it will fetch the updated data with a pricing object and every detail out of it so this is every two month usd recurring uses and 290 dollar so this is uh and how that got created this is a log file that stripe maintain so hopefully you find it interesting and we will cover uh placing an order at the next